So in this question we're given a scatter graph. This records information about a cattle farmer's calves. Each dot gives you the age and the weight of one of his calves. For instance, the point D, we're told, represents a three-month-old calf. That would be three months. And it weighs 100 kilograms. So point D has coordinates 3, 100. A similar way it tells you that E represents a calf that's 15 months old. So the x coordinate's 15, and it weighs 340 kilograms. And we're asked to find the equation of the line of best fit. That's this line that shows the trend of the dots on the scatter graph. We have to find the equation of that and give it in its simplest form. Now, normally, equations of lines, remember, we normally have an x and a y axis, an equation of that line is y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is where it crosses the y axis, it's called the y intercept. Now, of course, in this case, we don't have a y-axis, we've got a w-axis. And we don't have an x-axis, we've got an a-axis. So the equation would be w equals m times a plus c, where m again is the gradient and c is where it crosses, in this case, the w-axis. So things are slightly different there. So the first task would be to find the gradient of this line of best fit. So let's work away at that. So the gradient of the line joining D to E, and remember it's the y difference over the x difference, let's just write that down, y difference over the x difference of the coordinates. So the y difference, 340 minus 100, and the x difference, 15 minus 3. So that's 240 over 12. 12 into 24 goes 2, and well, with a 0 there. So 20. Gradient is 20 of that line. It doesn't look like one along 20 up, but the scales are obviously completely different in each axis. So that's the gradient, 20. Now, we do not know where it crosses the y-axis, so what we can do is to say... What we do know so far is that W equals 20 times A plus C. And it's this C that we've to find out. And we do know 3, 100 lies on this line. So since 3, 100 lies on the line, we know that a being 3, W will be 100. And let's substitute that in. So we now know that 100 is 20 times 3 plus C. From this we can work out what C is. 100, 60 plus C. So take 60 from both sides, C will be 40. So finally we get the equation, W is 20 times A plus 40. We can now go to the second part of this uh, question. And it says, use your equation from part A to estimate the weight of a one-year-old calf. Now notice the scale here is in months. So a one-year-old calf would be age 12 months. So for this part, we'll say that A is equal to 12. 
And since we know how to calculate W, we'll just go ahead and replace A by 12. So we get 20 times 12 equals 40. That's 240 plus 40, which is 280. So we'd say a one-year-old calf estimate 280 kilograms.